Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt. Uh, I am back with a couple bag reviews uh, today. In the same review, we're going to be looking at two of the Hex brand bags. We've got the Ranger clamshell here. Uh, this one's in their camo and then their backloader backpack uh, in black. So because these ones are fairly similar, I wanted to go over them together just so if you are looking at them, uh, you can kind of make a decision on those. So uh, without further ado, let's jump on in. All right, so first one we're gonna jump into, this is the uh, Ranger clamshell bag. This one is in the camo colorway. Um, you know, it's a fairly decent bag that can hold a quite a bit of camera equipment when you need to. Um, one problem that I found was you don't have a, a waist belt here, so if you are carrying a heavy load, um, you know, sometimes that is a little frustrating when you can't cinch it around your waist. But it does have a, um, slide pant slot here so that you can slide it on a suitcase, anything like that. Uh, you know, which which can be nice when you're traveling. But again, um, you know, just keep that in mind if you're carrying a bunch of equipment, it does not have a waist strap. Uh, the exterior is, is water resistant, so you do have a nice like poly coating on there. Um, you know, which, you know, with the, the YKK zippers does give it a nice little, um, security when you're carrying it. So if you are out in the city, out in the, um, you know, wild shooting, you do have that. Um, front panel here, diving in, got a nice little admin access point here, a little detachable keychain with various slots that are sized differently. So, you know, if you want to carry a uh, flashlight in one, um, you can do that. Excuse the fumbling there. You know, that's, that's sized for that. Um, if you wanted to carry something else like a cell phone or charging banks or things like that, those would fit here. And then you've got one big drop pocket here. Uh, so if you want to carry some uh, various larger things like another pouch or something, uh, that's good. It also is just a half uh, zip here. So if you do have something that's sitting in the bottom, it's not going to fall out when you go and open up the whole, the whole bag there. So that is nice. Um, you know, because sometimes when you're out shooting, you just want to grab either some filters or something like that and just stuff them in here. But you don't want that option of, even if you forget to zip it when you set it back up, um, they're not going to fall out. So, uh, great, great thought on doing that there. Um, coming in to this main zipper here, you have a clamshell, hence the name, that comes in all the way around like so. Uh, and, and the one thing that I like about this layout is you can open it all the way up, obviously, but you have a bunch of different organization points inside here that really help, uh, depending on if you're somebody who carries a lot of gear. Uh, I try and run fairly simple when I'm out shooting, uh, but you never know like what you have. Like if you're a filmmaker, you've got a bunch of different like filters, lenses, things like that. So uh, you have two mesh zipper pockets here that you can kind of color code. So like if you have batteries, um, you know, you can put your good batteries, uh, spent batteries, something like that. So if you want to color code things, you can do that, uh, which is which is super nice. Um, you know, and it's also good to be able to see what's in there because like say if you want to put filters on the inside, you know where they are when you're going to grab them. And then on the side panels here, when this opens up, you just have two little small pockets that, uh, you know, sized you know for a battery or uh something like that like super small maybe memory cards cf cards um something like that would would fit in there uh you know like for example i've got sony battery right here um and it fits just about one in there you probably fit two if you really tried to, to jam them in there but um you know just to give you an idea this is a sony a7 uh three with the uh 24 to 70 on it. So that gives you an idea of how big the interior is. Um, so you could fit quite a few uh, various things on there. You know, say if you've got something else that you want to slide in there, you, you're somebody who shoots um, dual stuff and you want to throw maybe your little film camera in there, um, you can do that. Or, um, you know, whatever else you want to carry. If you've got uh, a decent sized pouch that you want to slide in there um, you can you can fit stuff in there too so uh, you know it is a very big bag and these these padding dividers are pretty thick so even if you dropped it uh, nothing's gonna get rattled around too much so you could confidently fit 
a Sony a7 III body, you know, with several lenses in there. This is the uh, Sigma uh, R85 going in there as well. And if you wanted to see just a couple more, that's the Sigma Art 35. And then um, don't have really a, a divider in there for that. But that's four lenses and a body, um, you know, or you could do two bodies, you know, see it, it, fits, it fits a fairly large amount of uh, gear inside the bag. So, you know, like I said, you can carry a lot, but when it comes to actually like, carrying it long distances, or depending on what you're shooting, uh, there is no waist belt. So that is one thing that with the size of this gear, I would like to see. Um, I mean, you know, for me, I with camera gear, I really like back openings because a lot of times when I'm out shooting, it's wet, it's muddy. Um, so I don't want to set my back on the ground and have that get dirty. Um, I, I don't care if the front gets dirty. I'm not somebody who cares if my bags get beat up. Uh, you're supposed to use your gear, so that's a big thing for me. Um, you've got these two little webbing uh, snaps here that you can fit, you know, a tripod or a water bottle in there if you need to, just to just to try and make it so you know you can carry your gear easier. This is the uh, Peak Design travel tripod that fits inside there, and attached like that so again fits very nicely in there um, if you had a larger tripod it might be a little tight so keep that in mind when you're when you're using that on the back of the bag uh, on the water bottle pocket side you have a, uh, a faux fur you know so it's super soft inside laptop pocket here um, it is sized for a 15 inch um, you know laptop and and it is wide enough that like not just a MacBook would fit in there But something else too. So um, you do have stuff for you know space for your creative uh, gear and then the Not only is it padded on on this side But the back panel here with the EVA foam is also padded as well So you have a decent amount of padding for your laptop um, Which you know from from all the bags I've seen this is one of the best padded for your laptop uh, when you're carrying it so uh, keep that in mind if you're a creative that's worried about your laptop getting banged around or anything like that. These bags are, are great uh, to, to keep your laptop safe and secure inside there. On this side, you have one little soft mesh drop pocket here. So if you wanted to keep your cell phone in there or any other things that you, know, uh, you don't want to get scratched up, um, you have a nice little area to carry stuff right there. Uh, which can be really nice um, you know that's that's beneficial uh, both sides have these molly webbing loops so you can daisy chain uh, various things on there if you need to and the handle um, so if you can first you let there you go the handles fairly solid it's not gonna break um, you know I, in my opinion it's not the the most sturdy bag on the market there's there's plenty of things out there but, but for the price point, I think it's one of the, you know, decent ones out there at $200. Um, you know, it's a fairly solid bag. Uh, they have a, a reinforced bottom. Uh, if, if you've watched any of my other camera bag uh, reviews, you know I like that because I tend to set my bags down. You need a lot of um, abrasion resistance on that side there. And then, you know, you have two uh, attachment points here that you can slide a tripod. Um, you know a hoodie anything like that in as well so there's a lot of great little like side features in there that um you know you, you can utilize um you've got a little small uh strap loop here that you can put on if you say you want to keep um like a memory card stashed in there like I, i've been known to forget memory cards going out on a quick shoot or something like that so I like to keep a, a spare memory card in almost all my camera bags just because um, that that happens. Uh, so, so that's super nice to have. Um, so yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and then one last thing that's nice about this bag is it comes with a rain cover in the bottom pocket here. So I'm gonna get that attached real quick so you can see. 
so they've got a nice little um, rain cover here that is stowed in this bottom pocket down here. So if you need to, you can stash stuff in there as well. Um, you know, that's that's not a bad little feature. Uh, if it was me, um, I would. I, I'm not a big fan of having a big logo on the rain covers or anything like that. Um, you know, small logos like this don't stand out as much. But especially if you're somebody in the know with camera stuff, uh, I prefer not having like a super like huge logo just because if you're out traveling around and someone sees your bag and they know that that's a camera company, uh, that can be kind of like a, a huge, oh hey, that's a, that's a bag carrying camera gear. So, um, you know, not a bad little bag for 200 bucks. Um, you know, the material is decent. It's gonna hold up all right. There's definitely some better things out there, but uh, like I said, for 200 bucks, great little purchase on that one. So that one, again, is the Ranger clamshell. This one is in the uh, regular camo. And I'm gonna jump over to the uh, back loader. All right, so uh, this is the black back loader uh, backpack. Um, it's only black because it's black. Uh, so that's just the back loader backpack. Um, this one is one that I, I tend to think I would use more just because it is back loading. Uh, but again, when I carry bags, uh, this generally wouldn't fit my use case, but they did a decent job thinking through how uh, people would tend to carry a lot of things in this. So there's a lot of great organization and thought process behind this bag. So let's jump on in. Uh, on this front pocket, you have a little faux fur lined here that you could drop in, um, you know, a tablet if you needed to. There's not really much protection. There's some padded foam here that you could use, but um, it is spaced big enough that you could put uh, some sort of laptop or, or not laptop, a uh, um, tablet or some device in there. But um, like I said, it isn't very padded, so I would be wary about that. On the inside here, they do have a decently organized uh, kind of admin pouch. But the one thing that I found is a little bit funky about it is there is a rigid um, molding right here. So when you go to open it, it, it doesn't open and stay open easily, which in some ways is good, but like when you're trying to access stuff, you kind of have to like pull it back. Um, if you had a you know tablet in here, you would only access it like just very slightly and opening it there. So just a small note, um, you have one mesh panel here that you could dump, just dump a bunch of stuff in if you needed to, you know, like a, a, an external hard drive, cables, things like that. Um, you have a, a pocket here that you could fit a notebook, um, some pen slots, things like that, and space for like a, a power bank, uh, memory card holder, anything like that if you need to. And again, their little detachable key slot here, so if you needed to use that, you could. There's another drop pocket here that you could fit, um, you know, another tablet in if you needed to. So. It is about the same size as this front one. Uh, no like faux fur lining in there, but uh, it would be a little bit more protected if you wanted to use it as such. Uh, so just mentioning that uh, on that note. So that's the little front admin panel. Um, it does have a reinforced bottom, which again, I like because I'm always setting my bag down. That's the part that gets the most wear and tear for me. Uh, so, you know, I tend to dig that. Uh, there's a nice little, buckle here to get into the main pocket area um, for your laptop. A uh, little card slot here so you can whip out your business cards, show people how fancy you are. There is a faux fur lined uh, laptop drop pocket here so you can slide your laptop all the way in. Uh, this one seems to be uh, a little bit slimmer than, than the Ranger, um, but definitely can fit more than just a MacBook Pro in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the front of the bag. I like this one because it is a little bit more uh, discreet. I mean, the other one, the camo just screams, um, look at me, uh, which is funny because camo isn't really supposed to do that. But, um, you know, the, the, there isn't a lot on these on either of these bags that uh, really says, hey, look at me, I'm a camera bag. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I do like that. On one side, you have a little mesh uh, pouch here for a water bottle if you need to. Um, it, you wouldn't be able to really use this for a tripod because there isn't a attachment point to put, uh, you know, anything here to hold it down. It would just be flopping around. Um, where you would do that would be on the other side where you have two, um, 
buckle attachments here that you could tighten down if you needed to and slide your, your laptop in there. Um, so coming on over to the back side, um, slightly different strap setup than the other bag. And I think that's because this is the back loader. So these straps just attach straight to the bag. Uh, but when you look at the, the clamshell, you've got kind of this U-shaped strap set up here, um, you know, which is a little bit different. So not that it really affects the carry as much, but um, you know, just, just think about that if you're purchasing this. Um, there is no pocket on the straps here. So if you're looking for that, you don't have that. It does have a sternum strap here, as did the Ranger um, clamshell. So you do have that, but again, there is no waist belt. So if you are carrying quite a bit of gear in this, keep that in mind. Um, before we jump into the main spot, let me fix that. You've got a little top pocket here that you can access the interior of your bag. So if you wanted to put in, um, you know, for lack of better thing, you know, a lens here to change real quick, um, you can drop a lens in there or your camera. Um, you know, if, you, if you're somebody who doesn't want to open up the whole thing, but you just want to be able to pull out your camera real quick, um, you can do that in the pack here. Uh, not really how I would use it. Uh, I'm not somebody who like quick accesses cameras, but uh, somebody might. So here is the back panel for this. You don't have the EVA foam that you do on the, the Ranger uh, clamshell, but uh, this is very nicely padded. Um, so opening it up, uh, we'll do this in two different sides because um, there's it's hard to show in the camera here. But anyway, again, decent amount of organization here. Um, you can throw in, you know, a camera up there, like I said. So if you wanted to access it through the top to get to there, you could access that real quick and get there. Um, you know, and then you have room for lenses and stuff here. So you can drop in, you know, lens there, uh, drop in a lens on the other side if you need to. Uh, there's plenty of room, so you could do dual bodies. You could throw in a uh, 70 to 200 lens in there. Um, the biggest lens I have is this 85, uh, and that fits in there, you know, no problem. So, like I said, you can carry a decent amount of gear in there. Uh, it's great for that, uh, but there is no waist belt. So, I, just, I guess I keep saying that because I want people to know that if they're going to carry a lot of gear, and you're like me and you want to be able to carry it a little bit better there is no waist belt for that so keep that in mind when purchasing this bag um, but yeah it's it's great um, you know if you do have a big body uh, it's not gonna fit super well in there um, just to show you an example would be uh, if I if you took nope that wouldn't work. But if you had a, like a battery grip on your uh, on your camera, this wouldn't hold that as well. Because if you see even just this Sony, um, it's sitting in there like that. It's pretty topped out. You're not going to be able to to get your um, battery grip inside there. So keep that in mind. On the other side, uh, just like the other uh, uh, the Ranger, you have some mesh. Uh, admin stuff here these ones aren't color coded but you know these would be great to put in um you know just some various items filters cables things like that you have a little uh expandable kind of drop pocket right here so if you wanted to you could drop some things in here um so if you needed to you could do that other cables things like that but it would pull into the bottom of the bag here so if you were going to keep a camera body in the bottom here and then stuff this full it would interfere with that um, so that is pretty much it this one's a little bit more simple um, but you know a decent bag all around um, you know again not not my style uh, for how I shoot and what I need but if you're someone who you know runs a um, 
you know, vlog or something like that and you, you're on the go and you've got a small uh, mirrorless and a bunch of lenses and some lighting setups and stuff, this would be a great bag uh, just to take with you because you can stash everything in. You know, you've got spot for your water bottle pocket, um, everything like that. Uh, this is a 32 ounce uh, Yeti here. So just to show you that that still um, fits in right there as well. So both these bags are pretty decent for the price point that they are. You can fit a lot of gear in there, but they don't carry super well if you're hiking a long distance or carrying it all day. But again, uh, we got the Ranger clamshell and the camo and the uh, backloader in black over here. So check them on out if that's something you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Bye.